Welcome everybody, Level M Diecast covering our favorite thing we do here on the channel. Of course, we are talking real working rigs. This is 2023 mix number three. Yes, the box is upside down. I know that it's upside down. That is on purpose because really I think that Mattel has lost their mind. So we're just going to go ahead and just roll with the fact that they are backwards. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at this case. Um, and I'll kind of explain why I think that Mattel has kind of lost their mind as we go through and see what is in this particular case. Of course, eight models as always. This is the front load garbage truck, the Garbage King XL, as it's amply called. This is from the uh, R case, which would be mix number one for 2023. So this is not new to 2023, nor is it new to the case. Technically, um, not really sure why we get another round of these. Um, but there'll be no difference. I mean, this is the one that we got uh, in the T case. So, or I'm sorry, the R case. So nothing different between the two. I mean, you're going to have maybe some quality of print differences, um, but that's about it. And see the case code or date code on the end of this one was R36. So that one debuted again in the mix one for 2023. So we do have two of those in the mix. Uh, we will crack one of them open just because... Um, and we will compare them, but there's not going to be anything different. I mean, it, you're talking about months between releases. All right, brand spanking new version and new to the case. This is the Pierce Quantum Aerial Ladder Truck. Donning the 70th anniversary special deco in silver and orange with the 70th anniversary card art on there. Brand spanking new and brand new for 2023. Obviously, this will be the only real working rig to don the deco this year. Um, no other plans for any real working rigs, unfortunately, but um, at least we get one. At least Mattel is acting like they care about real working rigs, sort of. All right, new to the case. This is a reissue of last year's Western Star 49X dump truck. Brand spanking new casting last year. Uh, debuting in this exact deco, so we are getting another re-release uh, here. Brand new model last year. This is the exact same deco that it debuted, but for whatever reason, we can't get a new one, um, which is just unfortunately. Of course, we do have that one from last year that we'll take a look at. and see R22 was the day code. That was a new model last year. We'll crack one of these open just because that's how we roll on the channel. Second, Pierce Quantum. So that's good. That's good. At least we get two in the case. So at least Matchbox has got some uh, smarts to them with some things. A second Western Star. So everything's been two for two thus far. Unfortunately, another one. Um, I guess if you missed out on it last year, I guess there you go. All right, brand new to this case. This is the GMC T8500 uh, airport snack truck. Um, another re-release uh, again. Uh, not new, not a new deco, um, and not even the very first release. This is, or not the first re-release, this is the second re-release. This is the original one. This is the original OG version. Kind of hard to see on the base, but it is right there. It is dated D28 from the original run of Real Working Rigs. And then last year, it was reissued right here with some very minor print differences. You see R03 was the code there. Now we're getting another one this year. The day code is S14, so all the day codes are S14 on these. And then the last one in the box, another GMC. So everything is two for two. Um, but unfortunately, there's only one new model in the entire case, which is just not good news. So we'll get our box out of here. Let's go ahead and start with our GMC. Crack one of these open just for illustration purposes like we do. That is what the channel is for. So there is the GMC. Like I said, this is not new. Um, this is the second reissue for this guy. So S14 is the date code down there. Real working rig number 24. We will compare this uh, to the one that was previous released. Of course, that'll be the one on the top. Your prints are all going to be the same, although the gray print is darker on the one on the top. Um, especially on the box, but they're both that high quality inkjet printing. They both say city's best on the side. The previous version will be on your left. They do have the same tampos on the front. 
same GMC painted up. They do have the same functionality. And then the deets on the base are the same. So just an absolute dismal, dismal addition. In case you guys were wondering what the uh, features are, it does lift up, which is pretty cool. And then it does have a little uh, platform that comes down there a little bit. And then there's a walkway that comes out as well, which is super difficult to get out. Ooh, super tight in there. There we go. The walkway comes out, and of course, it would drive right up to the plane, and you would move the food in and out from the box truck onto the plane. So pretty good uh, functionality to this one. This was definitely one of the better functioning real working rigs. Um, I think they did a really good job on it. Um, and it's cool because it's based on a T8500 GMC cab over, which gets no love from anybody else. So that is pretty cool. Um, and then just no print details on the back. Um, as far as the greens go, greens are exact. Of course, they're exact. So there is the new one. Again, you get two of those. Not good. Totally not good. All right, Western Star 49X. Take a look at one of these guys. It's been a year. Maybe there'll be something different. Maybe. Um, but I highly doubt it. Um, looks like I may have got one that's a little bum. If you guys can see that, the mud flaps and stuff are all bent down. Looks like I may have an error version, but it'll work. It'll work. So there is the two. The original one is on the top. You see that the details on the sides are the same. The prints are the same. High quality print is the same. Same unit number. Same gray. Same chrome grill on the front. They are both Dan's Hauler. A uh, little bit of red, you know, difference between the two. Uh, but not all that much. Of course, the original is on the left. Prints on the front are the same. They both have Western Star. The headlights are done up. Um, decos are the same. A little bit of print on the bumper with a little bit of black. Same, you know, dump sections or whatever in the back. And flip it around. There is the deets. Same, uh, you know, chevrons on the back. Very fine detail for the unit numbers on the right there. But uh, there's just no difference. No difference at all. So, take a look at the base deets. They are going to be the same between the two. There's just not enough time for anything to have changed. Um, it's just really unfortunate. Same chrome hub painted wheels. This uh, fake third axle has got a silver painted hub on it. But same color interior as well. So it's just unfortunate. It's really, really unfortunate. Um, this one rolls just fine. It's just the uh, mud flaps got a little, little tweaked in the back. So, not that big a deal. Getting two of those. All right, let's move on to something brand spanking new. This is, of course, the Pierce Quantum. This is one of the original real working rig castings from back in the day. I really like this one. This one looks good. The silver looks fantastic. 70th logo, tons of chrome on it. It says unit number 62, maybe. Maybe 52, maybe 53, 58. Oh, there we go. Unit 58. Of course, you guys should know what that is for. Um, rescue on the side looks pretty good. Deco looks pretty good. The prints look really good. I like the uh, orange print on the black hubs. Especially like the prints on the front. Some red and blue on the headlights. Looks pretty good. I like this version a lot. This is definitely one of the better ones that they've done. Lots of chrome on it. Looks pretty good. Of course, it does have a course aerial ladder. It does lift up and, of course, spin 360. And then it does have a two-stage ladder, which is kind of kind of tight in there, but comes up. It is a relatively large ladder. Looks pretty good. So pretty happy about that. This rear section here is plastic. It's always been plastic. So that's nothing new. See if we can read the base. This one's super chrome base. All the shiny shininess. Row working rig number three. So it shows you it's one of the originals. Forgot to look at the number on this one. Row working rig number 52. 52. All right, last one in the mix. Got two of those. Last one in the mix, of course, is the front load garbage truck. We figured we would crack one of these open anyways. 
even though it came out just about five months ago, um, right around five months ago. It was out in the January batch one. Of course, this is the batch one version here of the Garbage King XL. Put the garbage tote on there. There we go. So put the original one on the top. Um, I can tell you right now that the orange print on the uh, placards here um, is significantly darker on the new one, which is on the bottom. The golds and stuff on the shields for the doors look equally impressive. Same prints on the two. Very difficult. It's a relatively larger real working rig. Um, all the prints on the side of this are all the same. Nothing different between them. It's other than the orange, um, everything is exact. It's just exact. You know, quality of prints, a little bit of difference on those oranges, but that's about it. The original one will be on the left. Take a look at the prints on the back. Of course, real working rig number 51. Same between the two. And then again, just the exact same stuff whoop, that we were seeing from before, which is unfortunate. So as far as base deets go, again, it is not going to be old enough for any changes on the base. Original one on the bottom with R36. So again, that debuted in mix number one. Was a brand new deco at the time. Of course, not a brand new deco now, which is unfortunate. Uh, and in case anybody was wondering how it works, of course, the garbage box come up. This is not the same one from the main line. Uh, garbage dumpster transporter truck, which is just a, a miss by the Matchbox team. But it does have the tilt for the forks in the front. Of course, it goes up and then dumps into uh, the box. Looks, looks pretty good. Tap it a little bit. Take it down, and then, of course, it does dump, and then the back opens up. So definitely does all the functionality that is supposed to do as a front-load garbage truck. Um, that is one of the better ones that they've done in a while. Uh, even though it's a generic, it's still very, very good. So pretty happy about that. So there it is. That is Real Working Rigs. That is the U case. Um, it is a dismal case. It is an absolutely dismal case. Um this again i've been talking about this for a while um the mattel team has really given up on real working rigs and they're just going to keep reissuing stuff that's already been out until sales just completely flatline and they cancel the line um just like they did the first time that's exactly what they did no new stuff came out they kept re-releasing the same decos and then it just died because people quit ordering it because it wasn't selling that is the line we're on to now unless they start coming out with something new now I will tell you that originally this case was slated to have the Scania command center, um, which obviously didn't make it into the case. I don't know if that's going to be a reissue of the very first one that came out uh, over two years ago. Um, but let's hope it's a new version when it does come out. So there you go. That is mix number three, 2023. Honest opinions. Drop a comment. I'm definitely going to be reading them on this one. So appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe. Level in Peace.